do you separate your um, like yourself from your regular self yes. during the play? Yes. And during rehearsal? Uh, somewhat. Oh. I'm not as precise a person as it re as is required. Are you an actor or a performer? Performer. So you don't, but that performer doesn't that mean that you have the same? You bring like your whole identity onto the stage. Right? I do, but the the some of my identity doesn't fit with the. Uh, I grew up in Los Angeles, and I moved to New York in 1971. Wow! And I came here really to be a poet. If we didn't have mirrors and we didn't sort of know that we had a nose here, and you stuck your you stuck your your face next to a a flower. So in American football, there's the f starting quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. And he's first string, and then there's the backup quarterback, and he's second string, and then there's the backup for the backup quarterback, and he's third string. So that's I'm th uh, third string Paris. Well, because uh, I, I would say the closest I get to writing poems is when I have to talk about something here that hasn't been done yet. I've been finding myself developing a new sensory organ that that can sense bacteria. This is, uh, it's a mattress for the room, which is the new piece that we're making by Harold Pinter. No, I don't use new words. I have to pretty much use the words that I think that the funders will understand. A dryness will occur in these rings, right in the underside of uh, the nostril. And because there's two of them, you can sort of begin to have a three-dimensional map of where in the space this uh, imperialistic bacterial cloud is. What's the word you use the most? Besides, you know, we. But where I grew up, you had these divisions in, in youth culture. In adolescence, you had like freaks and you had jocks. Well, and of you, course, you know, that's America. This, yeah, that's, and so this place is full of jocks, basically. Yeah. Did you go to the protests yesterday? Um, I didn't. I didn't even, you know, uh, I've been sort of cleansing myself of the, the sort of the news. What is relevant news? I don't know. Yada yada yada. It's a privilege. That's a privilege. It so is. Well, well, I I feel like. Or uh, you get, does it does it block you creatively? I feel a I feel a responsibility. I feel that some people in the in the culture. I feel like uh, any culture needs there to be people who are willing to be outside of the prescribed zeitgeist. Well, one thing you might have noticed in sitting here mm -hmm. is that I hear everything coming up through the floor.